It is demolition day. Fort Lauderdale City Hall will come soon come crumbling down. And as crews began removing part of the building today, city leaders unveiled a time capsule that was sealed within the walls. Local 10's Laren Livingston is live in Fort Lauderdale with it all. Laren. Sealed within the walls way back in 1968, mind you. But if you had $3 million back then, this is what it would get you in construction costs. And today, the city kind of paid its final respects to Old City Hall here in Fort Lauderdale. The GI death toll amid an ongoing war in Vietnam headlined this 1968 newspaper. Just one of the relics removed from a time capsule tucked away for more than half a century in the walls of Fort Lauderdale City Hall. Did you know what was in there before you opened it? Today? I had no idea what okay, was in so there. Mayor Dean Trantalis revealed the capsule's contents this afternoon before a pretty nice crowd. People love their city. People love Fort Lauderdale. And people love the idea of, of being part of these historic occasions. All gathered to bid their goodbyes to the building at the corner of Andrews Avenue and Northeast First, once thought to be too tall, if you can believe that. Record-breaking rainfall flooded the building last year, wiping out crucial mechanical systems. It's been closed, unusable since as the city now looks to replace it. It's time to move on and uh, do something that's appropriate for the city. It's going to be a vacancy, but I'm looking forward to the new city hall. Fort Lauderdale native Gwen Haynes remembers when she couldn't even walk through the front door. Exactly. It was during segregation. The new building, she says, will be a representation of everyone in the city. And with that, the demo began. The city's moving forward. Uh, this is a great city with a lot of growth and uh, opportunities for, for uh, not just change, but uh, for good change, change that, that I think. Uh, Back live here, don't expect an implosion or anything like that. The demolition company says they'll just be breaking this building down piece by piece, floor by floor until they're able to clear the lot. We're told to expect that to take about 15 to 18 weeks, of course, weather permitting. Where the new city hall will be, not sure yet. More than likely that'll be settled once a new commission is seated later on this year. For now, we're live here in Fort Lauderdale, Aaron Livingston, Local 10 News.